Hey man, say man, it's your boy John Lee Gotti, man. I just tapped in with 216, the beat radio station. Make sure y'all go get that early everywhere on all streaming platforms. Is it too late like, to say I'm crazy? Or is it too early on to say I made it? Smoking pot was every Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Toberlin, you feel me? From Midwest Road Runners, you feel me? Today with 216 to Beat Radio, we got my boy Johnny Lugatti with us. How you feeling today? What's good with it? What's going on, man? I appreciate you for having me. Oh, yeah, no problem. I appreciate you for getting on the call today, you feel me? Good to have another rock star on the scene, you feel me? Get a little lonely out here sometimes. Definitely. <laughs> Most definitely. Definitely. Hey, I definitely know the feeling, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah. So, um, where are you from? You're from uh, North Carolina, right? What part of North Carolina? Uh, yeah, Greensboro, North Carolina, man. Shout out to the 336. Shout out to the 336. Greensboro, North Carolina. Yeah, what's the music scene like out there? In Greensboro, really, uh, it really, it's really not a real big music scene going on out here right now. I feel like, uh, like back in the day, it was more of a music scene going on, like everybody was just trying to make music, but now... It's like the few artists who just really got farther than other artists, so the city just let them be the rappers, really. They just let them take over and be like, yeah. you know, we're going to let y'all support us. We're going to support y'all tonight. Definitely, dog. Who's some of the um some of the bigger artists from out there? Uh, I don't know. Uh, like DJ Lou Nasty, big. Uh, from out here, this big. That's like the biggest artist from out here. But other than that, obviously me. Uh, I got the city mm-hmm. on lot right now. Uh. Okay. Really, that's off the top. That's all I can really think of, me and Luke, really. Okay. Any Is there anybody else from out there, or is like he like an inspiration for like your style of music? Are you like a rock star, or hip-hop artist, you feel me? That's probably, that's a new thing out there. That's a big thing. Nah, uh, out there, see, it really, again, like, everybody done really just gave up on it. I feel like, like, everybody's just chilling out, like, stuff again. My brother, he up next, man. King Tato, y'all gonna hear about him, man. My brother out. He coming from the same city, but other than that, like really, the, the city just man that they, they gave up and just let the ones who really were really doing it doing it. That just let them do it. Oh yeah, for sure. You say this is my chance to take over right now. You feel me? Y'all sleep. Time to wake up. <laughs> Definitely though, for real. It's time to go crazy. Mm-hmm. For real. And I saw you come from a family of ten. You got ten siblings. How was that growing up? Uh yeah man it was just crazy it, I mean it was times where all of us were in the same crib before and then at that uh I only got one brother the rest all sisters so oh, you know man. how that was yeah all the females yeah that yeah. shit crazy man so it was just a lot man but it was cool always got some company always got somebody to play with but you also got somebody mm-hmm. to fight with too so it was cool it was chill definitely do they do they also like are they inspiration for your music like do they like, give you, like, input, like, yeah, I love this, you feel me, or try this, or try definitely. that. Definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely. My little sisters, my little mm-hmm. sisters, yeah, they, they really, they're real big fans. But, uh, like, the rest of them, they older than me. You know, the people's lives is lives, so everybody just living, doing their own thing, really. Right, right. My little sisters, they, like, they love me, man. They talk about me to their friends and just be going crazy, showing them all my videos, and they love me. Oh, yeah. So you inspiring them now at this point? Mm-hmm. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Who are some of your biggest influences when it comes to your music? Uh, my biggest influences is the two people I idolize, really, uh, Thug and Wayne. You know, Thug mm-hmm. and Lil Wayne, that's like my biggest influence. Really, Wayne, the reason I picked up a mic, the reason I started rapping, the reason I chatted my face, the reason I got dreads. I was just, man, I was Lil Wayne twice for Halloween, so it's like, that's really my inspiration right there, though. To even start rapping, but now the inspiration to keep me going is really my team. Just so many people pushing me, believing in me. So it's like that—that's the inspiration for me right there. I don't like letting people down. Definitely, it's always good to have a good team on your back. Feel me? As long as you got somebody with you that's helping push you, because I know how I get sometimes. It's like, dang, ain't nobody really rocking with me. It's like, no, nah, those people rock with you. Just gotta keep it steady. You feel me? Even that's the ones real. behind you, even though they tell you they like it. You know what I'm saying? Those ten, five, ten people, you feel me? That's more than enough. That's more than enough, you feel me? Than the, the few people you see on the gram, and there's more people on the gram and stuff that you don't even know. That's probably rocking with you, you feel me? Oh no, like, God, I, yeah. I definitely feel that. Like, that's what you can see and connect with, you feel me? Definitely, just the inspiration, man. People just, you know, people really fuck with your shit. They really believe in you. That's right. gonna make you go harder. They giving you that energy on like that Dragon Ball Z, like here, bro. <laughs> For, <laughs> For real. For real. So um, 
if you could collab with anybody right now, I know you're probably going to say Thug or you say Lil Wayne. Yeah, I was definitely going to I wasn't going to I was gonna say besides them two because they're my first two. But, like, right, right now at this moment, uh, I want to uh, collab with Machine Gun Kelly. He hard. Right. Machine yeah, Gun cool Kelly. Like uh, it's a uh, it's an alternative artist named Garzy. He ain't real Ooh, big, but Garzy, he is hard though. Uh, yeah, I think I'm hitting him. Don't he? Isn't he usually with like Zillicom, you know? He, like, uh, you know I really, I, I've only heard uh, single songs from him, so I don't, I don't know really. Okay. But I know he, I know he hard though. He a rock star. He, he hard. Uh, right. Oh yeah, and uh, I N Dior. That's that's probably that's probably just the last one right there. Them three right yeah. there. I, I I love them features. I can hear you and Dior on some crazy shit right now. I'm, I'm telling you, man, I'll be listening. Like, I know we will go crazy together. Hell yeah, y'all just got to get in the booth and vibe. It's on point after yeah. that. Y'all got banger after banger. <laughs> oh, God, that's why we just got to get in there, roll up, vibe out, mm -hmm. and listen to some beats. We're good. And uh, I know you just dropped a new song, Ten Toes. Can you talk a little bit about that? It released in October, right? Uh, Yeah, but the, uh, really, I just I just dropped the song uh, early. Early and being out, but that's like that's the song that I'm pushing right now. Really, uh, early ten toes. Shout out to my nigga G's. That's uh, that's really like his track. I'm just a feature on there. Okay. But yeah, that's yeah, it's out right now too though. But really, I want to go grab that early. <laughs> go grab that early. Go listen to that early. Going crazy on Spotify. We going crazy on YouTube. Go crazy here right now. We on MTV with it. We go listen to that early. Do you know who produced it? Like, do y'all usually work with the same producers and all of that? I'm not going to lie, I be, uh, I be tearing B stars up, like, I don't really, I just be buying them, I don't really be doing this, but I, do, but I definitely, now, uh, I do got a producer, I do be, uh, I do be the fooling around with, shout out to 808, okay. he, uh, he tagged my Instagram, but yeah, he a producer, he probably produced like 30 songs for me so far, but that's really like, one of the only producers I done like locked in, locked in with. Right, right, it's always good to have a good producer behind you, if y'all can mix a song, your song with his song, or he got a song specifically he built me for you, that make it ten times easier. Definitely, though. So, um, he literally sent me Johnny Lugatti type beats, so that's why they would they be called, so that would be good. Oh, yeah, it's definitely going to feel good. You hop on YouTube and see that pop up. It's like, oh, yeah. Hey, I can't wait, for, I can't wait for, for the producers to start dropping the Lugatti type beats. I'm going crazy. You gonna look up there with me on the end, like bro, I got a whole pack for you. I got two packs for you right now. You feel me? Hey, for real. I'm mean, I be hoping the rappers be doing that, cause they be having some so, so beats up there, man. Be searching their own tight beats up. I'm oh, definitely yeah. gonna do it. For real. You never know. Somebody make some some heat for you. You feel me? Dead ass. What advice would you give to any new artist or any younger artist that's trying to get into? Just hip hop or music in general. What would you tell them? To do? Uh, honestly, just uh, if you're gonna do it, then do it. Cause I tell, you, I say it all the time. Like it ain't no, ain't no plan B, ain't no second option for me. Like if it don't work, then I'm gonna keep trying until I die. Like it's just, so I just say do it. You only got one life, so you can't. I, I tell people, man, it sounds crazy to say. Oh, if you you can't do nothing else though, you can't have a job. You can't. You gotta just do that. Even if you're doing that broke for a while, you still just gotta do that. You gotta focus on nothing but that. Yeah, that consistency. That's the key. People just wanna keep seeing you, keep hearing you. For real. That's all it is. And one thing I learned from working with a few artists is, even if you don't like the music, still put it out. Cause there's gonna be somebody that like it. It'd be a song that you hate. And you look up. 50 people keeping it on repeat. Everybody bring it up to you. Like, I didn't even like that song. Hey, it's it. crazy. Yeah. That's how, literally probably my two biggest, like my two biggest songs probably when I recorded them, I did not like them. It's just, but the fans do. And the songs I record, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is a hit right here. Mm -hmm. I should do like two, 3,000 views, man. <laughs> it'd be like that. Right. It just be, it is what it is. Each is on, you feel me? And the minute they're going to know, everything is going to be here. You feel me? Especially it'd be the ones I, it'd be the ones I don't like. Them be the ones that do the hundreds of thousands of views. And they be like, damn, I don't even like this song, man. Right. So I did this for y'all at this point, you feel me? For real. Hey, but that's what it's for. I don't even make music for myself. It's for them anyway. Exactly, exactly. But was Thug your inspiration for the whole, for the Get Your Rock Star vibe? Like, did you used to listen to rock music or anything? Or did you just one uh, day you found, like, bro, this is just me. I just, it's how I'm about to say, yeah, really? 
really it's like a mixture of both. See, it's like I just I just always wanted to uh, rap differently. Like right. my just the first time I recorded, as soon as I went in the booth, a little kid, I asked the engineer like, hey, "You got auto tune?" Like mm-hmm. he like, "Yeah, he puts auto tune on my voice." So it's like I just always wanted to rap different. Right. And then I started really listening to Wayne, like, and like, man, this man got some bars. So that made me want to do the punchlines. Then when Thug came out, it's like, I ain't, I ain't never heard nobody with no cadence, no, that man know how to flow. He know how to ride the beat. So I just wanted to mix them two together, really. I wanted bars mm-hmm. like Wayne, but a flow like Thug. And I feel like I just did that perfectly. So just the rock star, that just, that just came out from just me being yeah. me, really. <laughs> yeah, just me being me. Like, I always just wanted to, just wanted to be different with it. Just right, like that right. just came from me being me. Yeah, I definitely remember Thug came out doing something crazy. I'm like, I ain't never heard nobody sing like that. But he ain't really singing, but what he feeling? What he doing? They got my ears ringing. It's like, bro, I want to hear more of this. You feel me? Like this is definitely though. Is that that's what that when I heard the first Young Thug song, that like really blew my mind. Like it was something that the world has never heard. Yeah. You've never heard that kind of music before. Yeah, I definitely see where you coming from. How you coming with the new song as well? You feel me? That's that's definitely. what I got. I'm like, bro, this. It's different. It's hard. You feel me? I'd have heard like some people rock rap. You feel me? But this is rock hip hop. You feel me? This is yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's just, that's my. I've been I've been trying to work on that style for a minute. Like literally, I say it all the time. It's just idolizing my idols and just really working with that. Like that's why I say I didn't. Uh, when, it got, when I first started, I didn't even want to be a rapper. I literally wanted to be like Wayne. I wanted to be him. Like, I didn't. So it's just dedication to that. And really yeah. helping get that style down pat. Mhm. So how long have you been rapping? Like when did you start? Uh, I recorded my first song when I was like ten or eleven. That's when I recorded my first song. My mom paid for that session. Shout out to my mom. Oh yeah. So that's the session I was talking about. I just, so as soon as I walked in there, I'm like, bro, you got some auto tune? Like, yeah. I was lit. Man. That's how I feel when I heard yeah, the eight of ways and heartbreaks. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Some crazy robot orchestra, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, I'll tell you that shit, man. It'd be crazy, bro. Just the K that's that's all I really care about. The bars, they just come natural. When I get in the stool, I just be trying to ride that shit. The bars that just come, because I don't even write. I record like ten songs in two hours, like I don't write, I just go in there and start talking. Oh well, yeah, that's when the best stuff come out. You just be yourself in there, you feel me? Definitely don't. Yeah. I'm a I'm a fellow rock star, you feel me? I know how it is walk around with Chanel's painting and wearing rings and all that, you feel me? How do you think that yeah. like you coming out into the scene? You know what I'm saying? Because everybody going to look at it different. Some people rock with it. Some people are like, bro, what is, you feel me? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Really? That's why Uh, I don't ever bring him up because he's not like a musical influence to me, but a personal influence. Uh, When Juice came out, because mm-hmm. I always, like, I always been like an emo-ass, sad dude, just... But I was just, like, scared of what people would think if I walk out with the black nails. And then when I seen Juice with this little pre-white girlfriend, you feel and this man painting his nails, I'm like, oh, shit, it's cool then, brother. He can do it. So he definitely inspired me to just be myself, not hide it, like, be myself. So shout out Juice for that, though. Oh, yeah, that's always good when you can just be comfortable. Because then it's like, I don't got to hide no more. You feel me? It's just me. You feel me? You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's so Shout out Juice for that, man. <laughs> So like, what's your what's your plans coming up? Like, what's coming up for Johnny Bugatti? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you could give people a little sneak peek to what's to come. Uh, really? We working, like man. Like I said, I'm out here in Alabama tonight. Uh, I wish I knew the club name, but I got a show tonight, 11:30. Y'all here? Y'all hear everybody pop out there, man? Like I said, we just dropped early. Uh, early is going crazy, man. Shout out G's. We just dropped 10 toes of a feature on me. That, like, we just working right now, man. We shooting videos. We just, we just working, man. I got an EP. Uh, what was it? I think, I think, I think it's like the next two weeks. I, I forgot the exact date, but 100%. I got a, uh, like a nine song EP finna drop. A little surprise EP. Oh, yeah. What's yeah, it called? Yeah. I, it. I don't even know the name yet. You don't got a name for it yet? Don't even know the name yet. That's all that matters. Yeah, definitely, though. All, all, all unreleased tracks, too. No, no tracks ain't nobody heard it yet, too, so it's lit. So, like, what's your plans besides the few shows you got coming up? Like, anything that you want to do that you're striving towards, like doing some shows out on the West Coast, doing, like, a tour or something? Uh, something you're planning on doing? Really? Mm-hmm. Really, I just yeah, I, I'm I'm tired of the shows now. I'm ready for the uh, I'm ready for the concerts. That's why I'm ready for the uh, I'm ready for the 20 minute sets and the 
the 25 minute sets. That's really my next goal. Like just the concerts. So I'm, I'm tired of the clubs. Right. And you can feel the energy of the whole crowd. Definitely. Energy bouncing back off, back and forth off each other. Definitely. That's all. That's really it. Just some concerts, and I want, I want, I want them concerts. <laughs> Definitely. Speaking of concerts and all of that, who would you want to go on? Like, if you go on tour with anybody right now, who would you want to go on tour with? Oh, it's crazy because I only been listening to his music, but to me, he's the best performer in the world. Uh, Playboy Cardi. That man mm -hmm. is a live show killer. Like Playboy Cardi. He, and I don't even listen to his music. I just like how he performs. But I perform with him just because I like how he performs. That's the way he come off his edge. He definitely does come crazy. Scream all the time. Man, that, that man is a show killer. And also, uh, uh, the baby. The baby is crazy with his shows. He know how to perform. Mm -hmm. The baby, yeah, he's a performer. So I perform with him. So I also do a feature with the baby, man. We can rock out from North Carolina. Oh, yeah, definitely. He from Charlotte or something like that? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right there. So, um... How long have you been on the road so far? Uh, since since I signed my deal, so I would say like seven months ago. Shout out to my label, man, the hardest label on concrete again. Mm -hmm. Like I ain't never got on a plane. Uh, I never went nowhere outside of North Carolina before that. And since like the past eight nine months, I probably took to like thirty forty different flights. So I just shout out to my label, man. They really working. So how you liking the rock star lifestyle so far? Cause you a rock star now for real, you feel me? Man, yeah, I I I love it. I ain't gonna uh, it's really like what I say, and I I try to say it in like a, a very humble way. It's just like honestly, it's like going to college to be a doctor and then getting out of college and you're a doctor now. It's like again, like since I was a kid, like nah, this is what I told everybody I was gonna do. I'm not going to school. I dropped out of school. Like I'm not. I'm going to be a rapper. That's what I said. So it's like it's really. I just feel like I finally got the job. I got hired. Mm -hmm. How how was it finally getting that validation and getting signed? And now you on flight and now you doing shows in different cities because you're basically on tour right now. You know what I'm saying? So how, yeah, was all that, how does that feel to know that all the work you put in is finally you feel me coming to through fruition? I said that wrong. Coming <laughs> coming forward. You finally doing what you yeah. always wanted to do. Uh, man, that's it. Just be big. It still be big, but I don't uh. Cause that's a, I don't like try to look at it like I did nothing yet because I really haven't. That's why I don't try to look at it like I did nothing because again I'm just this is something I always wanted to do. Yeah, I'm still learning. I'm still, I literally I don't I tell my label all the time when they can talk to me. I be like, man, I, I don't know. I just know I know how to make music. So I'm really just learning how to do stuff other than just make music and it just it's just a little journey really. So I see I'm just learning still. Is there any other things that you would like to do in music? Like end up producing your own tracks, recording other artists, and doing all of that? Oh, uh, it's crazy because I literally that was that was my job. That was how I met my label. I was an engineer for like three years. I was oh, a studio word. engineer. Yeah, that's literally how I met them. They brought one of their artists to my studio for uh, a session, mm -hmm. and I, I just like I like I was loving how they moving. Like while they walk in, all the money, the big stacks of money, they drinking, they they smoking big blunts. They they look they living they living life. So I'm like I'm trying to live like that too. And they artists he hard like uh shout out they artists crazy like that's my bro now and I ain't know him then but. He was hard, so I'm like, damn, like, I'm trying to show him my music. So I showed him my right. music, and then it happened like that. Right, it was me, you feel me? God was like, here, send me this your opportunity. This is your people's right here. You, you do what you're doing already, you feel me? It was meant to happen, basically. Definitely, though. That's why I was just like, yeah, that's, I could, I, I, I basically still do engineering because I, I record all my songs, like every song that's ever been dropped, I, I recorded that myself. So it's like I still basically do, but I don't doing it for other people or nothing. Nah, nah, I'm probably always gonna record myself. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, you can bring your drop whenever. Come yeah. test on one day if you want. You feel me? A little surprise. Hey, I knew that's why. People. That's why I got so many songs. I tell you, I got thousands of them, man. It's just whenever I boy, I want to feel like, like rapping, I can do it. Oh yeah, for sure. And how other artists or fans can contact you? Like somebody want to see you, um, like artwork. They want to see you. Beats, you know, saying packs, or they just want to come for a collab, or whatever. How can they contact? You? Way to probably get in contact with me through Instagram. Uh, I got the link. To everybody that you need in my team on my Instagram, so you better contact them for whatever you need. Or uh, Instagram, really the best way to get in contact with Lugati. Oh yeah, for sure. Thanks again for um uh, stopping by on two and six and me radio. We really appreciate you. Want to get Johnny Lugati? You know what I'm saying? Definitely, bro. Appreciate you for having me. Uh -huh. 
Oh, is it too late to say I'm crazy? Or oh, is it too early on to say I made it? Smoking